an exciting few months are coming to an end. India's 16th Lok Sabha has been elected through perhaps the longest and largest democratic exercises ever. We saw a massive voter turnout this year. A huge jump since the previous elections. And now we're watching our new government take shape. So let's take a look at the who's who of our new legislature and executive. After a landslide win for the BJP, a historic government was formed two weeks ago. India's first non-coalition rule since 1984. Already, our economy seems to be performing better under this stable administration. As Narendra Modi takes his seat as Prime Minister, Anandi Ben Patel replaces him as Gujarat Chief Minister. Rajnath Singh acquires a cabinet portfolio, leaving a spot open for the new BJP chief. Compared to the last government, a significantly smaller team of veteran statesmen and minority leaders was handpicked by the Prime Minister to direct our country over the next five years. Meanwhile, in the Lok Sabha, with no clear mandate, the opposition that has formed post-elections is more fragmented than was expected. Seasoned Congress leader Kamal Nath takes his position as pro tem speaker until an official speaker of the house is elected. As pieces slowly fall into place, vacancies are deliberated and institutions are reshuffled. It's not difficult to notice that things are being done differently by this new government. Should we be apprehensive about these changes? Or kya achhe se din aane wale hai? Let's wait and see.